see. Ah, paper. Nine lives. Celebrity Ash Rivers walks away from deadly crash. Okay, I'm not supposed to be noticed, caught, or anything here. No one's supposed to die by my hand. Who's there? Sleep. Put a camera there. And let's see a camera in the bathroom. Really? And camera over here by the bed. Cam check. Three cameras detected. Nicely done. I can't wait to see dirty little Tawny in action. We're monitoring you from here. Get out quietly and come back. Amalia. Quit. Hopefully I can get out before they wake up. save in my opinion children should only be allowed in places with happy meals and grand slam breakfasts oh hey waiter i asked for a cabernet sauvignon not a merlot next thing mm. Mm. the veal is a little cheap in my opinion children should only be allowed in places with happy meals and grand slam breakfasts mm. Mm -hmm. More flatbread and olive oil. Reveal and take back the Chardonnay chewy. and open up a Chianti. Let him breathe for 20 minutes this more and then bring it out with a Z. Okay? I could go either way. I just want you to shut up. <laughs> I just wanted to... I wanted to know what? Interrupt me while I'm working? Do you understand that this is an important opening? And I, emphasize I, am going to make or possibly break this restaurant? I'd still like to say hi. Hello. 
Now go get yourself some onion rings or hot wings or whatever it is you eat. The refined palate of a true gourmand is, oh, to put it in a language you can relate to, trying to decide if this place is thumbs up or thumbs down. Who are you? Me, Tommy Flayton, the food authority of Los Angeles, food critic for the biggest paper on the West Coast, radio personality for the KTLK, chower hour. Maybe if I reviewed more pancake huts, you'd know me. Just the man I wanted to talk to you. I'm not sure exactly what you mean. Isn't it your best interest to pan this place? You, you've got a reputation to keep up. How so? Well, you're becoming the joke of the food world. You'll give anything a good review. You know, now that you mention it, the gnocchi was a bit cold, and the ravioli might have been store-bought. Also, the decorum's a bit lacking, isn't it? This place is just an overpriced cafeteria. No stars! Yes. I'm going to write a review that will destroy this restaurant. What they call Romano, I call asbestos. Mm. Mm. Reveal. Oh, this is chewy. aggravating. Mm. Oh, hey, waiter, I asked for a Cabernet Sauvignon, chair. not a Merlot. Next thing you know, they'll be bringing sparkling grape juice. Ugh. Good to see you again. What? Just let go of me. Okay. To save. So I don't die in this lake of whatever it is again. If you fall down in there, there's no way back up again. Did you see that? 
the papers? She killed herself. Can you believe it? After the story hit the tabloids, she swallowed half a bottle of Valium and washed it down with a fifth of gin. It could have been more perfect. <laughs> I tried to be thorough and hand over the cash. Here, you definitely earned it. Thanks, Rotting Queen. See ya. Newspaper. LA Sun. Tawdry session. Supermodel caught in threesome with boyfriend. Llama, llama. Alrighty. <sighs> Glad I don't have to see Amali again. She is one ugly bitch. Okay, now let's get out of here. things to catch on you and hold. Spider or spiders that live in my front yard that put cobwebs over my door when I walk out. Sometimes I'll get a cobweb in the nose. Sometimes, you know, I'll get, get it, um, you know, just some, in other words, I walk into their cobweb. And um, we're talking a large cobweb. Quick save. 
see if they have it. Hey. What can I do to you, honey? Um. Maybe I can use some of your stuff. Tell me what you got. Prescription bottle, pill bottle, a knife, and a baton. No, I don't think so. What's this? A broadsword. What can I do to you, honey? Got some questions for you. Yeah? What do you want to know? Uh, nothing right now. See ya. Uh, obviously, he doesn't have it. I'm your lovely hostess. Mr. Flayton's scathing review of the Cavaletti Cafe in the sun, and I must tell you that I am extremely happy with his conclusions. You have done well. Please accept the payment I've left you in your mailbox. We will no doubt be seeing each other soon. Sebastian McCoy. From Mitnick. Okay, this is the big one. Wagian front in Chinatown called Kamikaze Zen. Yeah, I know it's Japanese. Don't ask. They've got a heavy-duty security system. Recon's coming. Once you're in, find the server room and activate the hub. One more thing. They have a vault where they keep software, etc. You better break into it and take something. Get them off the Zen. This one can be messy. It's your ass. And find the server room and activate the hub. From Nick Nick. The key to the front door is in your mailbox. An inside man put a file called Hooligan on one of the office terminals. It's a virus. Find it and execute it. This will shut down the power and allow you to get past the first real security door. I never got any blueprint to the inner sanctum, so once you're past the first door, you're on your own to find the server room and the vault. Good luck. Okay. See you later, Heather. Get the money. Hundred bucks, that's all. And the Kamikaze Zen access card. I mean, I put my, my own life on the line for these guys, and they certainly do not pay well. And I, don't, and I don't even have an expense account.
quick save. Let's see. Kamikaze Zen. That's uh, in Chinatown. Oh, Gary wants him to get to Chinatown. Way there was a Smeetsy. Uh, notice I use past tense. <laughs> Exceptional. Come by in a little while. I should have something for you then. Um, stop by later to pick it up. Thanks, Isaac. Oh, let me. Evening. I have a few questions. Certainly. Second thought, I'll just come back later.
Chinatown. You are here. Chinatown there, right? 